Another factor that can affect the accuracy of frequency domain monitor results is the simulation time. Since the frequency domain results are obtained by taking a Fourier transform of the time domain fields, truncation of the signal can introduce artifacts in the Fourier transform. The maximum simulation time is the setting of the FDT solver region. In this example of a ring resonator, when the simulation time of 700 femtoseconds is used, the simulation ends before the fields have a chance to fully propagate through the device, leading to artificial ripples in the transmission spectrum from the drop port. You can also see that the peaks in the spectrum are slightly shifted and the amplitudes of the peaks are also different from the case where a longer simulation time of 2000 femtoseconds is used. The early shutoff feature, which is enabled in the FDTD simulation region object in the Advanced Options tab, is enabled by default. This feature monitors the auto shutoff level, which gives a rough estimate of the energy remaining in the simulation region as a fraction of the power injected into the simulation region. Once the fraction of power remaining in the simulation falls below a specified threshold value, usually 10 to the minus 5 by default, this triggers the simulation to end. This is a time-saving feature since it makes sure that the fields have run for enough time to fully decay and it doesn't run the simulation longer than necessary. An additional benefit is that it allows you to check whether the simulation time setting is long enough by checking whether the early termination of the simulation was triggered or not. If the maximum simulation time specified in the FDTD simulation region object is too short, the simulation will terminate after reaching the maximum simulation time without triggering the early termination. There are several ways to tell whether the auto shutoff threshold was reached. One is by monitoring the job manager window while the simulation is running. You might see that the simulation ends before the progress bar reaches 100%, and that indicates that the simulation was ended early. You can also tell by checking the status result, which is returned by the FDTD solver region object. If the status is 1, this means that the simulation ran to the full time without reaching the auto shutoff level. And if it is 2, then that indicates that the auto shutoff threshold was reached. Otherwise, you can also check the simulation log file. The log file is generated when the simulation is run, and it's saved in the current working directory. The file name will have the same name as the simulation file, with an underscore p0 appended to the file name, and the file will have a .log extension. This file can be opened using any text editor program. If the auto shutoff is triggered, it will contain the message, early termination of the simulation, the auto shutoff criteria are satisfied. 